Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm back with another problem related to the subject of statics uh, and the topic of uh, rigid body equilibrium, but this one is a three-dimensional one. So let's get it started and work on this problem. So here you have this the wing of this airplane attached to the fuselage and subjected to two forces plus, of course, the weight of it. Uh, so the lift force here is 45 kilonewtons. And this is the thrust force. Uh, so thrust and the lift. And then, of course, the mass of the wing is given to be 2,100 kilograms. And we're going to convert that to the weight. So the weight is mass times uh, gravity. I'm going to take the gravity to be about 10 to make things easier for us so we don't have to deal with fractions. So this becomes 21,000 newtons or 21 kilonewtons. So I'm going to start drawing the free body diagram and I'll tell you what we need to determine. So th that the weight, as you could see, the center of gravity is given to be point G. So we'll put the 21 kilonewtons right there. Now, what are we trying to determine? As you can see, the, uh, the wing of the airplane is attached to the fuselage here. And we model that obviously as a fixed um, you know, type of uh, supports. You know that when you have a fixed type of supports, two dimensional, you get three reactions, one in X, one in Y, and one moment reaction. Here is a three dimensional situation. So what you're gonna get is basically uh, six uh, unknown reactions. So it, this cannot translate in the X, so we're gonna have an AX. I'm gonna call it AX, the force in the X direction. Can't translate in the Y, so it's translate, transitional motion is prevented. So there's a force in the Y and there's a force in the Z direction. Similarly, uh, there is a moment reaction because it can't rotate about the X axis. So I'm gonna use the right hand rotation, uh, right hand rule, I'm sorry. So that's the moment reaction about the X axis. I'm gonna call it MX. I'm going to call the moment reaction about the y-axis using the right hand rule should be like that, my. And then finally, let me put this over here. And then finally, a moment reaction about z-axis. So six unknowns here. Our objective is to find these unknowns, right? And we have six equations. Our equations, we can balance forces in the x, y, and Z, right? So those are our equations will guarantee that there's no translation of the body. And to just maintain no rotation, we have to make sure that some of the moment about the three axes, X, Y, and Z is equal to zero. So that means no rotation. So this is no translation. And no rotation. So. It's really a simple, trivial problem, guys. Let me show you how you can solve this problem. So start with your force equations if you want. It's up to you. Try to balance the forces in the X. So looking at the free body diagram, we have AX. And then the only force we have in the X direction is the thrust force, which is the eight kilonewton. So look, as simple as that, AX becomes negative eight. For three-dimensional type of problems, unlike two dimension, we just leave the sign and we don't say, oh, the direction has to change. Obviously, AX has to switch direction, but we'll just leave it as negative. And that's kilonewtons. All right, in the Y direction, same story, AY. But look, there is no force in the Y direction, nothing. So AY is zero. And then finally, some of the forces in Z called zero will give you what? <coughs> Excuse me. So we have AZ, look, you have the, the lift, which is pulling, going up, and then the weight, which is going down, negative 21. So A sub Z becomes negative 24 kilonewtons, and you just leave it like that. So look, you could write your A, uh, the forces that are developed at a, in, the, in the Cartesian form. So minus eight I, that's the X component, 0j, you don't even have to write that, and minus 
24k and you can even find the magnitude of this which would be a square root of eight, negative 80 square zero square and negative 24 square okay if you want the resultant in a way force reaction at that connection between the wing and the fuselage all right then we left now with these three moment equations so let's start taking moment about x y and z so moment about x Axis equals zero. I'm using right hand rule. Right hand rule is that you put your right hand, you rotate your fingers, right? And then the thumb will give you the direction of positive x, y, and z. So this is positive x, positive y, and positive z. Okay. So look in the x direction. Uh, what forces have moment about x axis? Notice that the thrust is parallel to x axis, it cannot cause rotation. That leaves only the weight and the lift. So look, the the uh, the moment of the lift, which is forty five times this distance here, right? Seven three five. That's fifteen, right? And that's going positive if you use right hand rule. And then the moment of the twenty one kilonewton weight is twenty one times this distance, which is just five. And then of course that's the moment reaction that I'm looking for, this moment reaction, M sub X, because that moment reaction has to balance those moments. So if you do uh, the calculation, this I believe becomes negative 570, if I'm not wrong, kilonewton meters. Okay, and just leave it like that. And then in the Y direction, similarly, uh, uh, what forces have moment about Y axis? So look, the 21 and 45, they're passing through the y-axis, so they can't have moment. That leaves only the 8 kilonewton thrust. And the moment of the that would be 8 times this distance. And if you use right-hand rule and basically put your four fingers in the direction of the 8 and rotate it about the y-axis, it will point, your thumb would point in the negative y direction. Obviously, I cannot show that to you here. But anyways, so M sub uh, Y is what I'm looking for, right? Moment about Y axis, kind of I started now at the beginning here. And the moment of the trust is negative eight times 2.5. So it's a negative uh, rotation. So M Y becomes a positive 20 kilonewton meters. Okay, so, so far you got two of the moment reaction and then finally, moment about Z axis. Notice that uh, I'm trying to find M sub Z, this um, unknown moment reaction there. And uh, notice that the forces that are parallel to Z axis, like 21 and 45 don't have any moment. Again, the thrust is the only force that has moment about Z axis. Kind of like it's easier if you put the eight kilonewton here, what is the moment of eight about Z axis? And again, if you put your four fingers in the direction of the, uh, the eight and then rotate it about Z axis, you see it's going in the negative direction. So that would be a negative eight times this distance. Uh, oops, this distance here. I got rid of my A Y here. And my moment about Y axis. All right. So that is, what did we say? 2.5 times, <clears throat> I'm sorry, eight times, um, eight times eight. I got distracted for a second when I used the eraser by mistake. All right, so that becomes uh, 64, positive 64 kilonewton. Just like uh, force that I showed you, the moment reaction at A, you can write it as minus 570x uh, i, that would be the, X, uh, the moment about y axis 20j. These are all kilonewtons, meters. That's the unit. And 64k, that's in the Cartesian form. And you can find the magnitude of it if you want. All right, guys, as, as always, I appreciate if you uh, join my channel and like the uh, video. Uh, and I'll see you soon. So I'll see you guys soon.